Hey, my name is Maddie. I live and travel full time out of my Ram Promaster van. And this week I decided to do things a little bit differently. I wanted to challenge myself to do as much art as possible. One week or five days to prioritize my art above everything else. I still had my normal job, I still had van chores to do, but I told myself that when I wasn't doing those things, there would be no socializing, no phone, just art. When I first got my van, I thought that I would have all the time in the world to pursue painting and learn digital illustration. I filled canvas after canvas in my van. I dedicated an entire cabinet to art supplies. And then, frankly, YouTube happened. I found that all of my creative inspiration was going into these videos and my art supplies grew unused and dusty in my van. This year I decided to change that and I was able to complete six prints that I'm really proud of. But those prints took me over six months to complete and I want to be doing art more consistently than that. There's a few other ideas I have behind the why of this challenge, but we'll get into those throughout the video. For now, let's just jump right in and see how it went. We currently find ourselves in the middle of nowhere. This was purposely done. I've been really wanting to get out and just draw and paint, but the last few days I've been working and during that time all of my chores piled up. So I have trash, laundry, shower, groceries to do. Water, did I say water? But the nearest town to me with facilities for nice groceries and cheap showers are at least two hours away. But I did see that there is a Flying J truck stop about 20 minutes away from me. So I think after exactly a year and a half on the road, because today is October 1st, I'm going to take a $15 truck stop shower. And then I'm going deep, deep into the woods and I'm gonna paint. First stop, laundromat. I wasn't able to do my laundry because I didn't have a quarter dispenser there and I just got to the pilot center, I filled my water and I went to check for produce. What do you guys think the likelihood that I can find fresh produce at a travel center is? <laughs> and sure enough they did not have any. I guess I'm going to drive 35 minutes north and go to a grocery outlet there and hope that maybe there's also showers nearby. It is 4.50 and I literally just got to my campsite. It took me all day to get my errands done. I wasn't able to shower because both of the places that I went to that had showers were closed. So, going to quickly shower in my van and then it's finally time to get started. I'm losing sun. It's already past six. The sun is going to set in about an hour and a half, maybe even less now. And so I think rather than setting up outside or setting up any of my paints or pens, I'm going to do some digital illustration. When I went to Descend on Bend in Northwest Nomads, a lot of people had stickers that they were giving out to people of their rigs and themselves or whatever fun ideas they'd come up with. And I thought it'd be really fun if I make a sticker design. And I know in the future I want to get some of my prints turned into stickers as well. And so I thought this was a good opportunity to try that. So here's the concept for the piece. I have my van on the outside and then I have Tiketi Falls. I'm gonna extend that waterfall the length of the door. And then I think I'm gonna have flowers kind of bursting forth in different plants. And then I think where the water goes outside of the door, I'll also have like flowers rising up and have it all just be kind of one cohesive, whimsical piece. Time for the fun moment of truth. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Ba -bow! Looking good, looking good. <laughs> about 10 30 and I'm pretty much ready for bed I've been drawing for I think around three hours I did make dinner earlier and it doesn't seem like I got that much done but I think just because I'm still learning digital illustration and I've been erasing a lot and redoing things 
it makes sense I'm not that surprised but I'm hoping tomorrow I just have the full day to draw so I'll get a lot more work done and I'm just excited to keep doing this Today I want to spend the entire day painting outside. I'm going to get out my snake drawing and see how far I can get on it today. We came to the perfect spot. I've actually camped very nearby, but the place that I was at, there's more people more often. And so I went deep down this forest road to a place where I doubt I'll see another living soul for the entirety of the time that we're here. Well, if this isn't the most adorable little outdoor art studio, I don't know what is. Time to paint! I did realize I can't put my phone away because this is my reference, it has my pictures on it, but I will turn it on airplane mode just so that I don't have any distractions, though I might listen to an audiobook later. I began this piece a couple weeks ago on the Oregon coast. I had met this guy, Jacob, at a van festival earlier this summer, and he happens to be a talented wildlife photographer with an incredible gallery on his Instagram. I asked him if it'd be okay to use his rock rattlesnake as one of my references, and with his okay, I made this species the center point of my piece. Today, I surrounded him with magnolia flowers. I'm doing it, I'm going in with watercolor. almost six o'clock and once again I feel like I haven't gotten that much done which is crazy because I've been doing this for so long and I think it makes me feel a little bit frustrated I do get into a flow of things but when I'm making a video that's like challenging me to get as much art in as I possibly can I feel like I really want to see results but I'm trying to not be too hard on myself and to just go with the flow and have a fun time because really the main focus of all of this is to just reawaken my love of doing art often and making it more of a weekly priority. Hey baby, what's up with you? Okay, I'm really cold, I'm moving inside. It's crazy how fast the temperature drops this time of year where I am. Ooh, it's getting so cold so fast. It is 10.31 right now. I didn't even know it has gotten that late. I got into a flow with my rattlesnake, which is my favorite thing when I just tune out. I put a movie on in the background. Honestly, I don't really feel like I want to go to bed yet, so I might finish this movie. I have an hour left and go to bed at like 11.30 and then start working on the flowers tomorrow. I'm feeling really, really good about it. Day three, baby! I'm currently working on adding highlights to my rattlesnake and trying to get to this place called Flow State. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of this. It's basically when you become so absorbed in whatever you're doing that the rest of the world entirely melts away. 
Lately, I've been finding myself dissociating a lot into my phone. To be honest, I feel like my addiction to my phone got worse when I got into van life, which is not surprising to me. You have so much more time on your hands. I'm now my own boss. I'm not always the greatest employee for myself, and a lot of times I really will dissolve into my phone, and I won't feel good after. And so a big part of this challenge this week is to form better habits and absorb myself in things that do feel enriching, things that I can still dissociate into or get lost in but are enriching and feel fulfilling and things that make me feel good at the end of the day. Of course, there's nothing wrong with dissociating into your phone sometimes, we all do it. But I'm just trying to be a little more mindful and I'm kind of hoping that this challenge will help to kickstart those better habits in my life. I feel like today is the first day that I've really been able to sit and reflect on why I'm doing this and what I really want out of this experience. You know, the first day I was doing errands all day and I only got to start in the evening and I was doing digital illustration, which is very foreign to me. And then the second day I was still kind of easing into it and I found myself going on my phone a lot and getting distracted. And so today's really the first day that I can kind of reflect and really think about what I want out of this and I realized that I'd been putting all this pressure on myself to have a bunch of pieces done by the end of this challenge so that when I post this video for you guys there's piece after piece and they're all amazing and look at how much work she got done and I feel like that completely is contrary to the reason that I started this in the first place which is really to reawaken my love of getting into a flow state with my art and making pieces that I really love in the end that I'm proud of and it takes me a while to do that you know I could try to rush through and try to finish this tonight and I I don't want to do that I'm gonna paint for as long as I want to after I'm done eating dinner and then I'm gonna put it aside and that's that and I feel like that's a much healthier way for me to go about this, especially if I want my art to become a bigger part of my job, which I really, really do. So that's, those are my random ramblings. I'm gonna finish making this pasta now. <laughs> just barely see the sun peeking through those trees. I thought I'd come watch the sunrise because I haven't done that in a while. But I think for day four, it's time for a change in scenery. It turns out that Crater Lake National Park was only about an hour away from where Eliza and I camped last night. And so after eating some breakfast, we drove out here and found a nice spot along the East Rim. I've been here before, but it was like five or six years ago, and I didn't stay for very long. Today, I think I'm gonna stay all day. We found this really nice, hidden, cozy spot. It's kind of funny, I feel like if anyone stumbled upon us, they would think that I'm drawing or painting a picture of Crater Lake. But no, just here to paint, <laughs> not here to paint Crater Lake. But I don't think that anyone will find us because our spot is so hidden. And I think I wanna just stay here all day and enjoy the sunset tonight before finding camp.
is the sun behind the trees and my phone is low on battery so I think what I'm gonna do is pack up go make some lunch and then drive around to a different part of the lake where we'll have the sun for longer After the second messenger returned to the party, a man rushed out and approached one of the tables. You have to come hear this, he whispered to the people at the table, the only ones currently on the patio who had nothing to do with Vin. That group left. In the final hours of this day, my painting began to come to life. These are my favorite hours working on any piece, where even the smallest detail can make the biggest difference, and where I put the references down allowing my mind and instinct to do the rest. The sun has just set and I'm almost done with my painting, but I think before I lose the light, I'm going to drive out of the national park and go find camp and probably finish off camera Good morning, you guys. It is the final day, day five of my art challenge. I'm feeling really, really good today. I was able to finish my snake drawing last night, and I'm also gonna finish that sticker, but I do have a ton of work to do first. I have like four hours of computer work I need to do, so I'm gonna do that, and then hopefully by the time one or two comes around, I'll be able to finish up. I ended up working for almost six hours, most of the time on my computer, but I also had a bunch of prints to prepare for patrons and private customers. I always really enjoy this process, individually signing and packaging each print with care and addressing them to people from all over the world who have found themselves on this lovely little corner of the internet. On this day, I also painted and stamped a new batch of thank you cards to send out with each little parcel. My good friend Sarah Yak gave me the idea. This entire process feels therapeutic and also makes me feel much more connected to my online community, which I'm very, very grateful for. All right, you guys, I literally just finished work. It is 3.37 and so I have a good afternoon to get the sticker done. So let's get to it. When I started, I had a difficult time with the sticker. Working on Photoshop is so new to me and I haven't really developed a style of digital illustration. I spent a lot of time trying a bunch of things, different brushes, styles, textures, and even concepts for my little nature scene. I tried to commit to my original design, but once I'd started coloring it in, erasing it, coloring it in, and erasing it again, I realized I just didn't like it. After about two hours of changing things over and over again, I finally made the decision to change the design. And once I did, I knew I'd made the right decision. Everything came together pretty quickly after that. It's 11.20 right now and I am so exhausted. I just about finished up my sticker. There's a few more things I might want to add in the morning before I show you guys both of the final results. So until then, good night my friends. So here we are at the end of my week-long experiment. 
These are the final results. This challenge was more difficult for me than I thought it would be. There were times when I felt frustrated that I wasn't as far along as I felt I should be, or when I still dissociated into my phone despite wanting to avoid that during this challenge. There were times when I grappled with the pressure to have more completed pieces by the end of the week. But in the end, these were lessons that I'm happy to have faced, and I'm grateful that I was able to release the pressure I felt, to find a flow state, and to stretch and strengthen my metaphorical art muscles that I haven't used in a long time. I am proud of the pieces I made. For my beautiful rock rattlesnake surrounded by giant magnolias, showing the contrast of gentleness and ferocity between strength and delicacy. And for my very first sticker, a hundred of which are on their way to me right now, highlighting how each place I visit stays with me in my van, filling it with the countless memories that this lifestyle has given to me. These pieces are very different from one another, and yet uniquely mine too. If you've stayed until the end, thank you. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I'm a first What do you mean by <laughs> My dirty dog. You're so dirty, dog. Oh, Jesus. Good puppy. Okay, go play. My new camera doesn't have one of those like flip vlog screens, and so I've been using my phone <laughs> to see what the screen looks like. I'm supposed to go the other way. I guess I'm supposed to go the other way. What is that noise? I don't even know what this looks like. For all I know, oh wait. So pretty right now. Oops. Oh, there's my face. 